On the storied launch pads of Cape Canaveral, where the echoes of past triumphs and failures still linger in the salty air, a new chapter in space exploration is about to unfold. Blue Origin's new Glenn rocket stands poised, a towering monument to human ambition and cutting-edge engineering, its sleek silhouette bathed in the glow of floodlights as dusk settles over the coast. This isn't just another launch, it's a defining test for Jeff Bezos's company after years of technical hurdles, shifting, deadlines, and mounting pressure from both the public and industry competitors. The world is watching with anticipation and skepticism as Blue Origin attempts to prove that New Glenn is more than a bold concept. It must now demonstrate it can be a reliable workhorse for the next era of space exploration. The stakes could not be higher. Inside the rocket's fairing are NASA's twin escapade satellites, destined for Mars to study its mysterious magnetosphere, critical science riding on the success of this flight. A flawless launch would not only validate years of painstaking development, but also open doors to lucrative government and commercial contracts, cementing Blue Origin's place among the giants of the industry. But failure here could erode hard-won confidence, cast doubt on Blue Origin's capabilities, and jeopardize its future as a trusted launch provider in an increasingly competitive market. This flight is more than a mission. It's a referendum on Blue Origin's heavy lift strategy and its ambitious promise of rocket reusability, a vision that could reshape the economics of space. The data gathered from this mission will be poured over for months, shaping the company's trajectory and influencing decisions for years to come. The countdown is on, not just for the rocket, but for Blue Origin's future, as the world holds its breath and history waits to be written once again at the Cape. New Glenn's journey began nearly a decade ago with grand ambitions, born from a desire to push the boundaries of what private spaceflight could achieve. Blue Origin set out with a bold vision for reusable, heavy-lift rockets that could transform the economics of space travel and open new frontiers for exploration. Named in honor of John Glenn, the first American to orbit Earth, the rocket was designed to revolutionize access to space, boasting a massive fairing and reusability as its core principles. But, the path from concept to launch pad was anything but straightforward. The team faced countless challenges, delays, technical hurdles, and the sheer scale of building something so unprecedented in the commercial space industry. Despite billions in funding and the backing of one of the world's richest men, the complexities of rocket science and the need for flawless integration slowed progress year after year, testing the patience of both engineers and space enthusiasts alike. Blue Origin's methodical, step-by-step -step approach meant every system was painstakingly tested and refined, with no shortcuts taken in pursuit of reliability and safety. Meanwhile, the market evolved rapidly. Competitors surged ahead, launching and relaunching rockets at a pace that seemed to leave Blue Origin in the dust, raising questions about whether New Glenn would ever fly. The world has waited, sometimes impatiently, as Blue Origin quietly worked behind closed doors, living up to its motto, Gratitim Ferociter, step by step, ferociously, never losing sight of the ultimate goal. Now, after years of grinding development, New Glenn is finally ready to prove itself on the world stage, carrying the hopes of a new era in spaceflight. The question remains, will those deliberate steps lead to a giant leap into orbit, and can New Glenn truly deliver on its promise to change the future of space exploration? At the heart of New Glenn's delays lies the BE-4 engine, a powerhouse designed for efficiency and reusability. Each BE-4 produces 550,000 pounds of thrust, but harnessing this power proved a monumental challenge. Persistent issues with turbo pump failures and combustion instability plagued development, causing years of setbacks. Every fix required redesigns and exhaustive testing, delaying engine qualification and rocket assembly. The BE-4's troubles didn't just affect Blue Origin. United Launch Alliance's Vulcan Centaur also depended on these engines. Two major American rockets were held back by the same technical bottleneck. Only after countless tests and redesigns did the BE-4 finally fly successfully on ULA's Vulcan. But, its difficult berth was the single biggest factor keeping New Glenn grounded for years. Now, with BE-4 engines finally ready, New Glenn faces its true test. New Glenn's first flight was a bittersweet milestone, reaching orbit but exposing critical flaws. The rocket's ascent and stage separation went as planned, proving the design's potential. But the first stage's landing attempt failed due to control system and software issues, resulting in the loss of the booster. The upper stage, while reaching orbit, showed performance anomalies that demanded further refinement. 
These weren't minor glitches, they struck at the core of Blue Origin's vision for reliability and reusability. The flight was a classic successful failure, providing invaluable data and a clear mandate, fix the flaws before flying again. The path to the second launch would be defined by Blue Origin's response to these hard lessons. The company now faced the challenge of turning hard-won experience into operational excellence. After the first flight, Blue Origin launched a comprehensive redesign campaign, focusing on the failed landing and upper stage anomalies. Engineers overhauled the landing system's software and hardware, running millions of simulations to ensure robust control. The grid fins and their actuators were strengthened, and the guidance logic was rewritten for reliability. Simultaneously, the BE-3U upper stage engine underwent deep analysis and refinement to eliminate performance deviations. Every change, was rigorously tested, slowing the timeline but building confidence in the system. The delay between flights was a necessary investment in reliability, not just speed. Blue Origin knew a repeat of past failures would be disastrous. The second flight would be the true test. Could they learn from mistakes and deliver a robust reusable rocket? The stakes had never been higher. While Blue Origin labored on New Glenn, pouring years of effort into perfecting their massive rocket and building a team from the ground up, SpaceX transformed the launch industry with rapid innovation and relentless launches. The contrast is stark. One company moves with careful precision, the other with breakneck speed and bold risk-taking. Blue Origin's slow, methodical approach focused on reliability and engineering perfection versus SpaceX's fast, iterative cycle of build, fly, fail and fix, learning from every launch and never afraid to push boundaries. In the years New Glenn has been in development, with each delay and redesign, SpaceX has landed and reused Falcon 9 boosters over a hundred times, proving reusability is not just possible, but routine. They've launched thousands of satellites, building the Starlink constellation and reshaping global internet access. In 2025 alone, SpaceX is on track for over 130 launches, more than two per week, setting records and raising the bar for the entire industry. Meanwhile, Blue Origin aims for its second orbital flight, still working to prove its capabilities on the world stage. SpaceX is already developing Starship, a next-generation vehicle designed to carry humans to the moon, Mars, and beyond, a fully reusable super-heavy lift rocket that could change space travel forever, while New Glenn is just getting started, preparing for its very first flight. The market New Glenn was built for, commercial satellite launches and heavy payloads, is now dominated by a proven high-cadence competitor that has set new standards for cost and reliability. For Blue Origin to compete and win contracts, New Glenn must not only work, it must impress and deliver on its promises. It must excel in payload, cost, or service, and offer something the market can't ignore. The tortoise is finally ready to run, after years of preparation and anticipation, but the hare is already far ahead, racing toward new frontiers. Blue Origin's challenge, catch up, or risk being left behind in the new space race, as the industry continues to evolve at breakneck speed. As New Glenn prepares for its next launch, the stakes are enormous for Blue Origin and the industry. A flawless mission would validate years of effort, secure NASA's trust and energize commercial customers. Success would transform New Glenn from a costly project into a revenue-generating asset, boosting morale and future prospects. But another failure could devastate confidence, test Bezos's backing, and cement Blue Origin's reputation as a laggard. The window of opportunity is closing fast in a market dominated by SpaceX. The industry needs robust competition. New Glenn's success would provide a vital alternative and drive innovation. This launch is about more than one rocket, it's about the future of American spaceflight. The outcome will echo through the industry for years. Blue Origin's moment of truth is here. Will it rise or stumble again?